I supposed to do? Crazy, but okay. the wrong way. last time.
on, die already, little rat. Ah, oh, stop being so confusing. Dang it, dang it. <laughs> okay, now run the heck away. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Stop running away. <laughs> nah. Oh, I could have fled. Dang, nab it. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Adai should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Dang nabbit, Papyrus. Come back here, you little punk. I swear, Papyrus, you did not just do that. <laughs> go, 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 go. Sans, Sans, help! Dang it! Oh yeah! Pay attention to the Sans Senpai! Oh god. She's smiling. At least it looks like she has armor, so hot. But I can't give up. Oh no. She looks shy. Get her some water. Yes! It's water cooler. Take a cup of water. <laughs> Look at me with the little cup. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, I just poured it on her face. Oh. Uh, uh. Bye, Senpai. Sans there now? Dang it, why is he gone? I want to see my senpai. Oh, Papyrus said I should go to her house, wherever that is. Let's go. I want to see, I want to see her again. I want to see senpai. The howling wind is not a breeze that gives you determination. Honeybee, hi. You were riled up earlier. Maybe it's because you wanted to blow. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes great puzzles. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rockets. Okay. Bah! There's no art in that action-y. My less smog. It's the time-basting ones. Ugh, you. I hope. Try solving the block pushing puzzle. What? what are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Generation is really hopeless. Whatever. Honeybee is sniffing my face. Oh wait, didn't I fall down here though? Did I? But I really want to see Senpai. We should go to the Tem shop. Let's go. Oh. Oh, like this is the wrong area, I guess. Yeah, totes. Totes the wrong area. We need to pay for her college. Hello, honeybee. How are you, girl? Okay. Whoa there. I got some neat junk for sale. Mm -hmm. um, 
was 18. Yeah. It was all crab apples. Big apple out there, kid. Hey, Papyrus! What? 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 It's a living. Oh, ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undying? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Um, of course. Okay, stand behind me! Make sure to give her this. She's love is ease. I am Papyrus, ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training. You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we... Why don't you two come in? Here, I'm dying. My friend brought a gift for you, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh my god. So, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! Woo! <laughs> Party! So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why don't I? Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I would beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame! I thought in time I could be friends with you, but I guess I uh, uh, overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. She thinks I can't be friends with you. Foo hoo what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be b besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo hoo hoo it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? This is so delightful. Sit down in progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Yes. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. And tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Fridge full of food. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. What? Okay, it's all done. Here we are. 
careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You both are total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I have never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyways, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. Uh, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight, like, uh, Papyrus. Papyrus ain't no dork. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not like he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he is, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He would get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Uh, let's, I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus is cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. What? Oh my god! <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we will become closer than you can ever imagine. Foo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Afraid? We're gonna be the best friends. Oh my god, my head! Let's start with the sauce. Cool. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. <laughs> oh my god, stop killing the enemy. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we'll add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, uh, in one at a time. Think like against the empty bar. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> stir harder. Uh, uh, harder. <laughs> uh, let me do it. What? Hoo hoo hoo! That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove talk stimulate your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. 
water. Wait, that's too. Oh my gosh, this whole house is just gonna be. Oh my god. Uh, man, no wonder the fire sucks at cooking. Oh my god. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Gosh dang it. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I have failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my new guest anymore. Our final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regret my lost pride. Oh, come on. Hit me with all you got. Yeah. You pretend to swing on a dime by the night. Oh, God. What? That's the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force. I just can't m m muster any intent to hurt me, Tom. Hey, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid circuitous stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some whippy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out with us another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the pirates. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you too. Well, see you later, punk. Okay, you're just gonna leave your house on fire. It's fine. It's all fine. Let's call Papyrus and a Sounds like you're near Undying's house. Hey, we should go visit Undying. I'm right here. I love when a plant comes together. <laughs> okay. You feel a calming tranquility filled with determination. Okay, we're gonna end the episode there. I hope you liked it. We got... We had a friend tea party with Undying. And we actually figured it out thanks to a guy that I would never have thought to fled from her. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.